Welcome to a new video where we delve into the world of mental health. Today's topic is hypervigilance. As we embark on this journey, let's first break down what hypervigilance means. Imagine walking on a tightrope, your senses heightened, your mind alert and watchful to every minor detail around you. That heightened state of awareness and watchfulness is what we call hypervigilance. Often, hypervigilance is associated with psychological conditions. Two prominent ones that come to mind are post-traumatic stress disorder, commonly known as PTSD and anxiety disorders. These conditions can significantly amplify a person's natural alertness to a state of constant watchfulness, leaving them mentally and physically exhausted. There are six main physical symptoms to look for. They include 1. Fixation on potential threats, dangerous people, animals or situations. 2. An increased startle reflex, more likely to jump or be jarred by sudden sounds. 3. Dilated pupils. 4. Higher heart rate. 5. Elevated blood pressure. 6. Behavioural, obsessive avoidance of certain situations. Do any of these sound familiar? Let us know in the comments below. However, psychological conditions aren't the only culprits here. Certain physical health conditions such as hyperthyroidism and Alzheimer's disease can also trigger hypervigilance. Even recreational drug use can lead to this heightened state of awareness, showcasing the breadth of potential causes. But let's not forget, hypervigilance can be a response to traumatic experiences too. It's a survival instinct, a defense mechanism that our body employs to protect us from potential harm. It's like having your own personal security system, constantly scanning the environment for threats. On the other hand, mental health disorders can also induce hypervigilance. The fear, paranoia or anxiety that these disorders bring can push an individual into a state of perpetual alertness, always on the lookout for perceived threats, whether real or imagined. Some people are hypervigilant about specific things, such as tags on a shirt rubbing against their skin or the sound of someone's alarm clock going off repeatedly in the apartment next door. You may notice these sensations or sounds and become agitated and distracted by them, but eventually you move on. Now that we understand what hypervigilance is, let's explore its effects on one's life. There are eight emotional symptoms of hypervigilance which can include anxiety, nervousness, irritability, paranoia, fear, worry, anger and isolation. It's normal to experience brief periods of hypervigilance. For example, if you're watching an intense movie, you may be on high alert and get scared by sounds that would otherwise not bother you, such as a creaky door or wind rustling branches in the trees outside. Hypervigilance isn't merely a heightened state of awareness, it significantly impacts one's life. More than just being on high alert, hypervigilance can manifest in physical, behavioural and emotional symptoms that can dramatically alter the way a person interacts with the world. Physically, hypervigilance can lead to fatigue, as the body and mind are in a constant state of alertness. This can be exhausting and may result in a lack of energy or enthusiasm for daily tasks. It can also cause sleep disruptions as the brain struggles to switch off and rest, leading to insomnia and other sleep disorders. Behaviorally, hypervigilance can cause individuals to become overly cautious and risk-averse. They may avoid certain situations or places that they associate with potential danger, leading to a reduced quality of life and limited social interactions. It can also result in obsessive behaviours as individuals constantly check their surroundings for potential threats. Emotionally, hypervigilance can lead to a heightened sense of fear and anxiety. This can be debilitating, causing feelings of constant unease and worry. It can also result in emotional instability as the individual struggles to manage and regulate their emotions effectively. More than just these immediate symptoms, chronic hypervigilance can have long-term effects on an individual's life. It can lead to memory impairment as the brain is constantly focused on perceived threats rather than storing new information. Difficulty in regulating emotions can result in frequent mood swings and emotional outbursts while trouble maintaining relationships and daily tasks can lead to social isolation and a decline in overall well-being. Indeed, hypervigilance is not merely being extra attentive. It is a complex and challenging condition that can significantly impact an individual's physical health, 
emotional stability and social interactions. Given these effects, it becomes crucial to learn how to control hypervigilance. Before we proceed, if you're finding this content useful, please subscribe for more videos in our series about anxiety. We're dedicated to providing comprehensive and insightful content to help you navigate complex issues like hypervigilance. By subscribing and hitting that notification bell, you'll be the first to know when we release new content. Your support allows us to continue creating informative videos like this one. Now, let's move on to discuss the treatment options for hypervigilance. Treatment for hypervigilance varies depending on the cause, but it's not without hope. Now let's delve into some of the potential treatment methods for hypervigilance. One such method is therapy, a powerful tool indeed. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, as it's commonly known, is often employed. This form of therapy helps individuals understand and change thought patterns that lead to harmful behaviours or feelings of distress. It's like equipping yourself with a mental toolkit to handle situations that might trigger hypervigilance. Eye movement, desensitization and reprocessing, another therapeutic approach can also be effective. Known as EMDR, this involves recalling distressing events while receiving side-to-side -side eye movements, hand tapping or auditory tones. It's a bit like reprogramming the way your brain responds to certain memories or triggers. But therapy isn't the only route. Medication can also be a part of the treatment plan. Depending on the underlying cause of hypervigilance, psychiatric medication like anti-anxiety drugs or antidepressants may be prescribed by a healthcare professional. In some cases, a combination of therapy and medication proves to be the most effective. Remember, treatment isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. It's often personalized, taking into account the unique experiences, triggers and responses of the individual. It's a journey undertaken with the guidance and support of experts tailored to meet your specific needs. Aside from these professional treatments, self-care strategies also play a crucial role in managing hypervigilance. Self-care is an essential part of managing hypervigilance. Let's explore some strategies. First on our list is mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being present in the moment, paying full attention to what's happening around you without judgment. This practice can help you develop a heightened awareness of your physical and emotional states without spiraling into distress. You can practice mindfulness through meditation, deep breathing, or even just by taking a moment to observe your surroundings and really soak in the details. Next, we have relaxation techniques. These are designed to reduce tension and promote a state of calm. Techniques can range from progressive muscle relaxation, where you tense and then relax each muscle group in your body, to guided imagery, where you visualize a peaceful scene or situation. Other relaxation techniques include deep breathing exercises, yoga, and even listening to calming music. The goal here is to create a sense of peace and tranquility that can counteract the constant state of alertness associated with hypervigilance. Thirdly, maintaining a healthy lifestyle can significantly contribute to managing hypervigilance. This includes regular exercise, a balanced diet and sufficient sleep. Regular exercise can help reduce anxiety and improve mood, while a balanced diet can provide the necessary nutrients your brain needs to function optimally. Good sleep is crucial as it allows your brain to recover and recharge, reducing the risk of heightened anxiety and hypervigilance. And lastly, don't overlook the power of social connections. Spending time with loved ones, sharing your experiences or simply enjoying their company can provide emotional support and distraction from constant vigilance. Remember, it's important to consult a healthcare provider to discuss these strategies and find what works best for you. It's okay if some techniques don't work as well as others. The key is to keep trying and find what suits you best. Implementing these strategies can significantly help in controlling hypervigilance. Now that we've learned about hypervigilance and how to control it, what's next? Well, the journey to understanding and controlling hypervigilance doesn't end here. If you've recognized some of the symptoms we've discussed in yourself or someone you know, it's critically important to seek professional help. Remember that hypervigilance isn't something to be dismissed or taken lightly. It's a serious condition that can have profound effects on your physical, mental and emotional health. But don't feel overwhelmed. You're not alone. There are professionals out there, like doctors, 
therapists and support groups who can provide the help you need. And let's not forget our reference source, Jonathan B. Jassy, a private paediatrician at Belmore Merrick Medical, is also a great resource. While professional help is essential, self-care plays a crucial role too. We've discussed several strategies such as mindfulness, regular exercise and maintaining a healthy diet that can help manage hypervigilance. But remember, these strategies aren't a one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one person may not work for another. It's about finding the right balance for you, and that's where you come in. Now that we've armed you with knowledge and tools, it's your turn to take action. Start by incorporating these self-care strategies into your daily routine. Be patient with yourself. Change takes time, and managing hypervigilance is a journey, not a destination. Remember, it's okay to take small steps. Even the smallest change can make a big difference. And each step you take brings you one step closer to a healthier, happier you. Now we're curious, which of these strategies will you try first? Will you start with mindfulness? Or perhaps you'll focus on getting regular exercise? Maybe you'll make changes to your diet? We'd love to hear about your next steps. We're curious to know which strategies you'll work on first. Please share in the comments below.